I'm just gonna keep my helmet on because of all these flies. Yeah, they are flying. That's cool. It says they've got a straw, and I'll just keep this on for me. Liquidize me food. Just travelled from Perth, which is that way, and I'm going north to Caratha, which is that way. And right now I'm in Carnarvon. Just got a massive satellite dish, which isn't plugged in. It's taken the piss that dish. My my motel that I'm staying in, and it's a lovely place, but the satellite reception, the TV channel, isn't what it could be. And that bloody thing's out there mocking me out the window, and they're going, I can't receive the thing. <laughs> I'm not even plugged in. <laughs> So this is the main street in Carnarvon here and uh, obviously everything's shut because uh, I've just arrived, it's evening time, it's a public holiday and uh, like all of these towns they're always shut. It's slightly scary when you ride into somewhere and it's like everyone's gone, shit there's a stranger coming, close the doors, close the doors. <laughs> <laughs> you're just riding along like that and there's just eyes looking out. <laughs> There'll be a stranger in town. Bloody flies everywhere you go. It's ridiculous. I'm trying to talk to you a lot and tell you all about the clearly made up history of the town. And uh, the flies are everywhere. Don't go thinking that I'm just standing in my own shit. Mind you, I am standing in my own shit. <laughs> I've grown up from uh, from Perth, you know, and just like I got here because I had my motorcycle helmet on, didn't realise there was a bit of a fly problem until I actually took the thing off and went, oh, well, this is a nice town. Oh, bloody hell! <laughs> just banging. <laughs> I reckon if I developed a facial twitch, I'd come and live here. Yeah. <laughs> Because this is the only place in the world where people with twitchy faces can blend in with the community. Nobody knows. Nobody has any idea. Twitching away like that. Just go, mm, yes, the flies are bad at this time of the year, aren't they? Twitchy. Twitch. That should be on the mural for the medical centre. This is a mural here depicting what, what life was like uh, here in Carnarvon. Uh, this is an unusual thing that you, know, you might not know about Carnarvon. It's a very advanced place. Uh, even many years ago when the original settlers were settling down here and, uh, you know, even days gone by, even though uh, the place was just growing, it was still popular for boys to have earrings. They're actually, in those days, obviously, they didn't have the extensive piercing equipment that they have now, so they had to be drilled drilled in there, but it, were, wasn't, it wasn't that progressive because uh, uh, young girls uh, always had to have piping in front of their face at all times. If a woman was to show her nose at any point, that was considered, uh, that was unladylike. So they'd always have this piece of pipe here that they could just peep out from behind. The, he's all pierced up and uh, he, she just like that. The good thing about this wobbly pipe here as well is the fact that there's a wonderful picture of a man in a top hat who looks dangerously like Daniel Johns from Silverchair. But if I do this, it, it looks like he's pole dancing for the ladies. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs>